everybody this is Melanie welcome back to crafting chaos with Melanie I hope everybody's doing good today in today's video I'm going to show you how I finished up the project um, on Friday's video yes on Friday's video we did an album and it was just a quick and easy flip album and we built the base and we matted the whole album so what I did is I went through really quick and I decorated this album. I'm going to show you how simple it is, but yet how gorgeous it is. All I used was this Silent Night. And I got this from Michaels, I want to say, last year. This was a hot buy. Actually, this is from 2021. But I think I did get this last year, so I think it came out later. So this is what we got. Isn't this gorgeous? So pretty. So let me show you what I did. What I did is I took one of the sheets and I cut all these florals out right here. I cut the florals out, the poinsettias, and I cut, cut out the little greenery right there. Because in this particular um, paper pad there were no stickers and the only ephemera you had is what you could make from inside the paper pad. So I did that and I also cut up, let's see here, I also cut up the journaling spots there and I used a few of these so I wanted to show you how even though you might find a paper pad that doesn't have stickers you can still make one and most papers has um, images you can cut up and it's so relaxing to fuzzy cut these out I actually enjoy it so so I used that and I did pull in one die set because I didn't see anything in here that I wanted to use on the front cover um, so I pulled out this Holly Jolly from Catherine Puller, and that's really it. That's the only thing I added besides ribbon. Everything else was from this paper pad, um, except for the ribbon, this, and the, um, cardstock, obviously. Okay, all right, so let me show you what we did. Oh, my goodness. If you are a non-traditional christmas junkie like i am i have to make pink cards every year i love it pinks and purples i think they're gorgeous so this is definitely a pink theme and all i did was cut the holly jolly out and i did put that on foam and i wanted to keep this simple i just i want this album to be simple so you can see how easy it is to make such a simple book and it turned out so pretty anybody would love to get this and all i did was four by six photo spots here let me get a little pokey tool, see if I have one. And then here I put the, the flowers I cut out, and this is all open, so your photos will fit right under there, okay? This one right here, I just did a simple pocket. I just glued this down, and the pocket is two and a half by five. And I will put that in the description. I promise. I think that's the only other measurement I need to add. Um, this right here, I put a strip of the mirror cardstock. And I had to go back and put another strip of paper because I used liquid glue under that mirror cardstock. And I will tell you, liquid glue under mirror cardstock is going to show through. There is nothing I have found that eliminates that. It, it, you can squish it, you can burnish it, you can do whatever you want to do, and you're still going to see those squiggly lines, and I forgot about it. So I went back and I put these little strips of paper on there. And this is just from the ephemera. This right here is just some tags. Right here is a photo for four by six. 4x6 and the same thing and you flip it. Here I did some 3x4s in case you know these are going portrait. These are vertical. So I did put a few horizontal spots here. So these are 3x4 and this right here you could stamp anything or write anything um, that you wanted to do. Just take this over so we can flip it and then this opens and I just did the same thing. Look at this how pretty. We used the poinsettias. And there I use poinsettias and greenery. And there you go. How absolutely beautiful is this book? Guys, this is a beautiful book. And you could do this for any size. All you have to remember is the binding strips. It doesn't matter what size you do. If This to me is, is really not a paper saver um, because of the, the, um, the cuts you have to make. If you're into saving paper, then you could do... A square and do a six by six and just cut up um, use a six by six pad or use um, 
12 by 12 and cutting quarters. So, you know, there's a lot of ways you could do this. All you have to do is the same accordion fold. Now, I did this one, and then I'll give you a quick look of this one the other day, and let's just go through this one. This one was an actual paper pack, and I had the stickers with this. So, this one's a little bit different, and I did add the pictures to this, but it's ultimately the exact same design, four by six photos. I just got some little stickers here, No, nothing fancy. I did the same here. Now, here... Um, I'm sending this to my son, so it's focused on Brandon, and this is his Aunt Angie, and this was 2023, and this was 2016, and it's on the same sofa, and I thought that was so cool to bring in the photo to show them how they've changed. Angie ain't changed a bit. She's still pretty as ever. Brandon's definitely matured some. And there he is with his Aunt Angie. And if you see, all I did was you cut, use cutouts. I did a belly band here because um, I wanted to put these cutouts in here. And then on the back of this, I actually put the photo. So you have a photo here and you have a photo here. I just think this looks so good. Imagine giving this as a gift, taking your photos from last year and making a gift like this for your loved one. You know, we all have the keeper of the photos. I'm the keeper of photos in my house. Um, my nephew, Andy, does a really good job. If I'm not around with the fam, he'll take the pictures and send me. We have a code going on. But I think my family really appreciates this. Look at Beth, how beautiful. Oh, I adore her. All right, there you go. And this one, I didn't bring the ribbon. I did the ribbon on the back and on the front, right? So this is opened. And honestly, I didn't think about it until I started showing this to you all on the video. And so, in hindsight, I just decided to take the ribbon and just do it on the back and bring it around like I showed you in this video. All right, guys, I know this is a quick video. I just wanted to show you the end of it. And what I'm going to do next is this paper pad right here. I have a lot of paper left, guys. This was 24 sheets of 12 by 12, and I'm going to bust this paper pad. So the next video you have will be of all the projects that I'm doing with this paper pad. Isn't it pretty? I'm not putting this back in my stash. I'm going to use it up. So I'm going to do some cards. I'm going to do some scrapbook pages. Um, and I will be back on to show you what we come up with, okay? All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did... Be sure to leave a comment and like. I really appreciate that. And again, if you know any crafty friends and you want to share this video, I would really appreciate it. Guys, I hope y'all have a great day and I will see you next week. Bye.